Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns Rider from Next Gen Tactics. We're doing a little more Killzone 3 beta gameplay here, and we're taking a look at the Medic. Now, I'm going to bring this up first and foremost. The Medic is a support class. You are not meant to be the frontline soldier. You are not meant to be blazing it up and getting tons of kills. I do all right. You are support. So, in addition to reviving people, which is your obvious uh, task here, because you're the Medic, what you want to do is you want to do things like destroy sentries, shoot at the, the air bots, um, you know, get rid of any of those things, just destroy things, but stay behind that front line. Um, there's, there was another comment actually when I was watching the, uh, the heck was it with the class, one of the classes, I, oh the Sta 52 when I was doing the Sta 52 assault rifle demo, there was one particular individual and I didn't bother wasting my time uh, responding or anything but he was like um you camped and you sight hoard a lot so you know who you are because someone else commented for me saying uh what is sight whoring so i was aiming down my sights a lot <clears throat> and uh looking for those kills this individual obviously i'm gonna let you know right now because it's probably a good thing that uh, and it clearly shows where the person comes from like the gaming genre you cannot compare this game and the play styles to other well-known games and you know what I'm talking about those games this is not run around with your lightweight commando and go around knifing people this is a game where you move cautiously and carefully and that's exactly what you do in this game so clearly the individual I mean here's the here's the bottom line if you didn't play Killzone 2 or you haven't even played this one that much and you're not good at it you really shouldn't be saying you know don't do that don't do that because you don't know what you're talking about not even in the slightest, and I didn't even bother wasting my time because that was pretty evident. Um, I, I'm just saying that only, and not to, to complain, because I really don't care about the individual, because they'll never probably play this game. But that being said, in a game like this, and a role that I'm taking here, while it seems like I'm going to be uh, camping a lot, I'm actually. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's other people that just don't have patience. Like, give me a second, buddy. I could have revived you there. But you, with the medic and even with the engineer, you want to be staying sort of back. You got to stay with your group. You do your group, your team absolutely no good um, if you're pushing forward, if you're away from them. The whole point is to reduce the number of, of deaths, the mortalities, by staying near them so that you can actually revive them. So it doesn't mean that you can't get kills as I'm getting here, but you don't want to push far forward too much. You want to stay with your group. When you see that, that medical, that symbol right there, okay. you should move. That's good old Bentley. So so in this case here, like even when I'm just playing with just Bentley and myself, the beauty of it is that I stay near Bentley, he stays on the front, uh, which is that position that he's in right there is actually very, very active and very dangerous. So he stays in that area there. I go around setting up, you know, defenses like I'm doing here more or less. Like I'll be setting up some, uh, or they're all moving the other side. But normally what I would do is I would set up uh, proximity mines. Set up proximity mines. Oh, I'm going to die here. Yes, I do. You set up proximity mines, destroy their sentry guns, destroy any air uh, sentries that you have, and then stay more or less within the confines of your group. Always, always, always. But here's one thing. If you're going to start playing this game and you know that there's a medic on there, communication is friggin' very, very important. Come on. Communication is incredibly important in this game. You've got to let your team know, first of all, a lot of people that are not used to this series, okay, so when they die, they're looking to get that respawn button as soon as possible. If you're new to this game, if you're, you know, playing it and you're really liking it, make sure that you ask. Make sure that someone announces that they're a medic. You need a medic. You need an engineer. If no one's an engineer, you're going to be screwed and tattooed in this. And there's uh, Bentley, actually, engineer. Works well. He has an LMG. He fixes it. So we got ammo. We can get proximity mines. Enough ammo to actually move around the map. And it's very, very, very important that you do that. Let your team know. Vocalize it. Say, listen, I'm going to be a medic. So don't respawn right away. Give me a second if I'm close to you. Just, you know, call for a medic. Just like in a war. It actually makes for way more enjoyable gameplay. When you call down, you're like, medic, I'm down. And then I know to, oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Gommel. <laughs> so when you're when you're playing a game like this, which is similar to deathmatch, 
reviving your teammates can drastically increase your uh, the chances of winning. But you gotta stick with your team. You know what I mean? Give them protection. And this is exactly what I do. I set up defenses to make sure that they aren't gonna come from the back. Because I notice my team here is pushing forward, they're not looking, and chances are they're gonna get, you know, a brutal melee attack right in the face or jammed in the eye with a knife, which is not good. Stick with them, revive them. Even if you're reviving just one once in a while, you are doing your job. Do not be so focused when you're playing kill zone 3 on, oh, I got the highest kill death ratio. I can score a tremendous number of points, way more than someone that actually has way more kills than me, simply by reviving them, destroying the sentries, and giving them support. That's it. I, you can rank up faster, you can actually get more unlock points for the other uh, classes and everything like that, simply by friggin' doing your job. It's the same thing with the engineer. Repair those ammo boxes, deploy those sentries, get them out there. Give support and play your role properly and you'll get a crap load of points, I promise you. It's so much easier. If you go and you try and own just because it has the uh, the weapons. Oh, by the way, the medic does have an amazing weapon. It's a modified M82, the assault rifle. It's burst fire with a silencer on it. So when you unlock that, you'll get your kills. Just be patient and revive your team. That's it. I'm Guns for Hire. Peace. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. And here you can create subscriptions for individual games and only receive notifications for new videos uploaded for the games that you are subscribed to. Isn't that fantastic? No more spam video email notifications. And stay in touch with us on our full featured forums. Remember, all the relevant links are always in the description of our videos. Click on them. Come join us on our website. We'll see you there.